Today, I have another exciting episode of Collector's Close-Up, brought to you by thecoinshop.ca, and I'm going to be featuring the Epidurus Greek Theater Coin. It's really, really awesome, super high relief. Make sure you hit that thumbs up on the video, it really helps out, and every video that hits 100 thumbs up, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the month for all those people and all those videos. So make sure you do that for me, and head on over to my website, canadiansilversaver.com, because I've got lots of great, exciting products of my own, and others from the community. Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here and I'm really excited to bring you today's episode of Collector's Close-Up brought to you by thecoinshop.ca. Make sure you head on over there to check out some of their awesome numismatic products and if you use my code Canadian Silver Saver, you'll save yourself 4% on collectibles and numismatics. Bullions excluded and there are some exclusions out there as well, but some great ways to get some awesome collectible items, really beef up uh, your, your silver stacking collection and with some exciting new products and save some money along the way. So today, uh, I've really been looking forward to featuring uh, this particular one here and it's the Epidaurus Greek Theater coin. Now this one, absolutely beautiful design. We'll see here, this is just the outer case. And then it comes in this beautiful uh, box. I believe it's mahogany. It's still very, very nice. And then when we open this up here, you'll see just an absolutely stunning, stunning coin done by the Mint of Poland. Now I've been featuring um, some Mint of Poland products recently, uh, really trying to focus on uh, some of the wonderful stuff that they have. And uh, they're just doing a wonderful, wonderful job. So I'm just gonna pop this out here and we're gonna look at the, uh, the certificate of authenticity. And while we sit here, let's give you some eye candy look at it. Pardon my thumb there, everybody. I have been doing some work. Um, so uh, this is the, you'll see here the certificate, uh, the Epidurus, and uh, from the series History of Theater. And then nine, uh, being nine legal tender was struck at Mint of Poland. And it's just very cool that it's actually a coin too. Um, the detail. Now I showed, uh, recently I showed the um, amber coin, the amber art coin. That one was absolutely beautiful. The Baruch. 999, three ounces and limited to only 500. And what's really interesting to think about with these is that these aren't a painted um, bullion coin or a painted product or a, uh, an enhanced coin of some kind. There is actually only 500 of these out there. They haven't... Um, you know, uh, even other coins that have five, six, seven, eight hundred, or uh, you know, a thousand, and they've been painted or adjusted in some way. The actual coin that it's put made on, and there's a lot more of those. Uh, this is awesome because there is only 500 of the look of this product at all. Just a small piece to point out here because I don't want to miss this. Ancient Theater of Epidaurus, famous for its acoustics. Well, we're just going to let everybody read that. You can pause if you want to. It shows you the two gods overlooking. Very cool. All 15,000 spectators apparently. That's awesome. Cool. So now let's take a, a closer look because that's why we're here. It's collector's close up. So and I'm just going to pop that open there and you're going to see just look at this, the detail on this. Absolutely beautiful. And you'll see as I turn it how deep the relief on that is. See how deep that goes? It's like looking into the theater. Um, absolutely. Let's see if we can get a little bit better focus here. There we go. You can see it's like, uh, just the relief on it is stunning. I love that they put that extra detail into the saw, like into doing that, into getting that relief. So high. So deep, really, it's a deep relief because it goes into the uh, concave coin. Now it's only that way on the one side. I'm just going to pop it over here. Flip to the other side, so you see. But the other side is just as beautiful, and the detail in here is, is wonderful. You can see uh, the orchestra up there at the top. Different effigies. Just some stunning, stunning work. 
I love that, uh, you know, we've got Queenie on the back, but I love that they've done more with the background than just put Queenie on there. That's, I'm really using both sides of the, ca the coin canvas. I really appreciate that and I really like that. And I'm finding a lot of people that are either newer into it or they're collectors, but they want to find a way to collect and invest at the same time. This is the type of thing they really enjoy. They love that extra detail. Just an absolutely beautiful piece. I'm going to flip it back over again here and take another nice close look at the inside. Uh, just stunning. The detail in here where it's actually, that's, uh, I don't know if, it, if the camera's going to pick it up as well as I want it to, but that's not, um, that's not just shading and stuff that, that, that's done that. That's actually the relief of the coin that's giving the seats and everything that's there. So just an absolutely beautiful piece. Um, really like what the, the mid Poland's doing. And you'll see that uh, it actually says Epidaurus Creek Theater right there. Let's see if I tilt it. If you're looking down the seats into the theater, right on the stage there. It's just absolutely awesome. Um, really like what the Mint of Poland's doing. Really enjoying featuring a lot of their product and looking forward to featuring some more from them as well. Um, we've got some more exciting products coming up. And uh, again, use my code Canadian Silver Saver over at uh, coinshop.ca and sa save yourself 4% on this puppy. Just wonderful. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, I've got some more exciting videos coming. I've got uh, um, lots for the Silver Hunt Sundays coming up. And then I'm going to be doing a couple of extra videos to catch up on uh, some purchases, some uh, other ideas. And I also am going to be doing a series about new stackers and how can we get people into stacking um, uh, or collecting if uh, you know they're going to be putting their money into something else. Let's find a way that they can do that and still be putting their money into investments. And that's how I look at this. You know, if I'm going to be going out and spending money, or anybody's going to be going out and spending money, stuff. You know, I, I'm a big baseball hat guy. I, I've collected a lot of uh, superhero uh, collectibles, signed merchandise over the years. And I've liquidated a lot of things and I spend far less money on other things because I find I can feed the collector side, I can have fun doing this, but at the same time, all while making an investment. Um, you know, the numismatics, they, they hold their value against the markets, the silver markets, as they go up and down. Um, you know, whether or not you're going to get all of your money back or if that particular numismatic like this one here is going to go up a lot in value, um, that's part of the game, right? But that's part of the game we play just with silver and gold in general. Um, but I, what I, again, what I like about it is that uh, apart from the core metal value um, that you're, you're investing in it, the collector then can get something they really enjoy. It's a piece of artwork, and that's how I look at this. I don't mind spending extra money on things if I know I'm buying art. Uh, and rather than buying some other type of uh, you know comic book art or something like that, now I'm able to feed the collector in me all while investing along the way. And I think that's something that makes my wife very happy too. So. Hopefully everybody enjoyed this video, and we will see you uh, tomorrow. I've got another video coming up, and then Saturday, and a Silver Hunt Sunday as well. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Canadian Silver Saver, 